Mr. Speaker, I move to strike the last word. The gentleman's recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This bill represents a massive step backward for transportation and infrastructure funding, reducing funds for rail, transit, and highway programs that our communities desperately need. In addition to slashing Tiger grants by 80 percent, the bill restricts eligibility for these grants, effectively locking out public transportation and passenger rail projects from this critical funding stream. In my district, Sonoma and Marin counties, we've come together to support the Smart Rail Project. This is a new public transit project that will provide a critical service to commuters, to students going to school, to tourists that are visiting and spending money in the local economy. The counties are putting a significant share forward in local funding. Over 90 percent of the cost of the project has come from these local sources, but they need the ability to access federal assistance like Tiger Grants to extend the first phase and close gaps in this important new system. This bill puts roadblocks in the path of the SMART project and projects similar to it all over this country. In addition, this bill contains a rider blocking funding for California's high-speed rail project. We shouldn't undermine state and local efforts to invest in transportation infrastructure and to promote economic development. And I urge a no vote on this unwise and unwarranted bill. With my remaining time, Mr. Speaker, I also want to encourage the FHA to expand the Power Saver Pilot Program to address the unique con uh, condition of many Native American communities where housing is often in great need and, and capital is difficult to access. Congress should enable homeowners to make cost-effective and energy-saving improvements to their houses. This body took an important step in 2009 by creating the Power Saver Pilot Program, which has uh, helped in financing and constructing energy efficient homes. And since that time, homeowners all over the country have taken advantage of the program, worked with private lenders to purchase Energy Star certified furnaces, air conditioners, improve insulation, install solar units. This in turn has spurred investment in our housing sector. It's created jobs and saved money for homeowners. These are goals that all of us should support. We should be extending this program to Native American communities. Native American communities across the country, including the Karuk tribe in my district, have embraced sustainable and energy efficient housing. This is lowering their electrical bills, increasing the value of their homes, and reducing dependency on dirty energy sources. To enable other tribes, though, to make similar investments in their homes, the FHA will need to make substantive changes to the Power Saver program. And I'm very pleased that this uh, underlying bill that we're considering already demonstrates support for Native American communities by fully funding the Indian Housing Block Grant and Section 184 programs. But I encourage it, FHA to go further to build on that support by ensuring that these programs, like Power Saver, are implemented with all communities in mind. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time.